So you're chewing gum to mellow out before mm -hmm. you go out on the track. Yes. Is there a song you listen to to get psyched up for this? I think Jet Black's Stay Ready to Roll. It's probably the song I would go with just mm -hmm. to get to get pumped up. He wants to be calm. I want to be just jacked on Red Bull and just. <laughs> <laughs> So that's my technique. That's, I don't know if that's really. We what just got you different want. different techniques there. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're to go. <laughs> we're gonna get the time. Welcome to your Uncle Joe's Garage, outfitted by California Car Cover. Very special show today here. You have three people in front of you who have raced in the Toyota Celebrity Race. You have two people who have won. You have one guy who's won a real lot. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the garage. Good morning. Alfonso Rivera. Yes. How are you, buddy? Rick Schroeder. Good morning. You raced in 89? 88. 88. Yeah. Ah. And 96. See, there he's rubbing it in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The mm -hmm. first time you raced, you won overall, is that right? I did. I was a really... Close finish, I think Parnelli Jones was behind me and he would have had me if it was one more lap, but I, I just had enough time to... It's a wonder you had any bumper left on the back with Parnelli. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Alfonso, you've raced 37 times, haven't you? <laughs> this, is, this, is my, my, this will be my fifth year. Uh, I, I uh, raced in 95, uh, 96, and 97. And you won uh, Or 94, overall? 95, 96, and, yeah. then, and then last year, uh, and, and then now this year. And you were you giving Rick some tips, so unlike the rest of the drivers, he won't hate you for yeah, well, winning so much. There's always love. There's <laughs> always love. <laughs> you know, no matter what happens here, there's love. He gives me tips, yeah, but I think he keeps a few back because he doesn't give me all of his tips. Yep. I'll give it all. Listen, <laughs> my attitude is I'll give you every tip you ask for. If you ask for information, I'll give you 100%. True. Because at the end of the day, the way I've looked at it is you're probably not my biggest concern. I think Alan Sir Jr., Jimmy Vassar, and Max Pappas might. I've, uh, they <laughs> are, they are pros. Yeah, there's no doubt they're pros. You, you really, unless he's mellowed a lot in the last couple of years, you really don't want Al Jr. in your mirror. You, Al, real close. Al is very aggressive. <laughs> Al is very good. But I'll tell you, the the most aggressive I think out there in terms of the pros that yeah. we that we've seen so far is uh, is Max Pappas. Max Pappas drives the car hard. He, you know, he he's got it all over the place, but he still is able to turn super quick lap times. And when he interviews, because he's Italian, he's swinging well, his he, arms all the time. You like this, like and then you go, away, go, 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 go fast. You take the car, you drive it in, you drive it hard. That's exactly what he said. Yes, you drive it hard. You drive it into the corner, and then you flip it around, and you get on the gas, and you take it up to the corner. <laughs> You gonna put it on the roof this year? <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> no, four wheels down, baby. <laughs> We're talking about the Toyota Celebrity Race at the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. This yes. is the fortieth year they're doing this, final. And, and the final year, and it's the money goes to a great cause. But it takes people that have had no driving experience and some notoriety and puts them in a car, and then you train with the infamous or the famous uh, Danny McKeever. Yep, so you have yep. one of the best driving instructors there is. That's right. And they turn you loose, and they put the pros behind by what, a minute or something like that? 30 because seconds, thir typically. 30 seconds. Yeah. He's raced with the pros. Once you start winning too much with the regular people, they send you back with the pros. And I won last year from, from, from the, the pros. pros. I won overall, so I came through the entire celebrity field. I caught the field, passed the field, and was in first place uh, starting my fifth lap. This year's gonna be different though. Yes, it will. They're going to start the whole group. We don't know what they're starting. As, yeah. a, as a group. Is that what they're, is that what they're doing? Perhaps, <laughs> I, maybe not. We don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> That's what we're hoping. Is that, because the 20 of the 22 drivers have won before. Uh -huh. So this isn't a lot of inexperienced drivers. So what we're hoping is well, that they really let us race. And some of them haven't raced for a long time. Like, like me. <laughs> <laughs> so when he was you like, were, yeah, 90, 96. So when you were coming in, was he going, I won overall last year, I won overall. Was he doing that? No. Well, he's definitely, <laughs> he's definitely confident. There is no doubt. You yes. know, we've been out at the racetrack for four days driving with mm -hmm. Danny. And, you know, he's, he's and he, as he deserves to be. I mean, he is the reigning champ. He won last year overall. Mm -hmm. And so he's got confidence. And it's not cocky. It's he's got because he can back it up. It, I mean, it's confidence. There's one thing about driving a lot of people don't understand, and you had a great explanation of it oh, earlier. Yeah, <laughs> Golly gee. <laughs> Your explanation of racing, what it's about, with the balance and all that. Could you roll that for us here again, please? Well, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, you need to have uh, the balance of the car. But yes. we were talking, obviously, about um, last year in the race, I was chewing gum. 
and was very relaxed. And they showed the video to all the drivers on, on the Saturday night uh, at uh, race practice. And I was just talking about ultimately that you have to have all of your senses. Yes. You know, we have a, a, a thing in racing where it's, you know, tunnel vision. Yep. Where you get so focused on one thing that you lose your ability to to take in all of the other information, mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of information to be taken in when you're in a, when you're in a race car. Yes, um, you know, just something as simple. He was talking about whether putting the windows up, and the problem with that is then you can't hear somebody else's motor mm -hmm. when you're actually uh, on the racetrack. Hearing that motor gives you information tells you whether someone's on the gas mm -hmm. early. So now you're aware that they might actually be closing in on you to see that they're gonna be coming up on you. And the worst thing you wanna be is that driver who goes into a corner, there's a guy next to you, and you don't even know that they're there. That is a horrible Situational thing. awareness, yes. that's what it is. Absolutely. Being aware of your situation. And if the windows are down, you can hear the crunch of sheet metal. You will hear that too. When, yes. You, yes, and especially you know the mirrors typically get taken <laughs> off. You know, some of us actually want them taken off so that you can't really see what's it's going on behind you. It's a distraction. You. So you focus in front. Uh, but if you know you have the windows up and it takes the mirror off, it, there's a good chance it could hit the window and, and uh, smash that up. You don't want to do that. So. You're chewing gum to mellow out before mm -hmm. you go out on the track. Yes. Is there a song you listen to to get psyched up for this? Um, I don't. I don't have a specific song that I that I play. Um, most of the music that I will be listening to will be very mellow. It will be very calming. Um, you know, you know, sedative music. Uh, you know, because you 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 don't want to be amped up getting into that car. You want to be as calm as you can. And Ricky. Um. That's a good question. I haven't thought about music, but I, I think I, I'm going to look for a song. Um, I think Jet Black's Stay Ready to Roll is probably the song I would go with just mm -hmm. to, get, to get pumped up. He wants to be calm. I want to be just jacked on Red Bull and just <laughs> throw him into the corners. <laughs> so that's my technique. That's, I don't know if that's really We well, just got different, different techniques there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm ready to go! <laughs> we're going to get to turn one, and we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Easy, Ricky. Easy, <laughs> Tonto. <laughs> Tonto. You, 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 Tonto, that is Tonto. Good. You do get a lot more Ranger, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you do get a lot more Tonto. coverage <laughs> the, uh, with the cameras uh, for the car that wrecks the first time. Well, on turn one, so. I, oh, yeah. you know, you, you want to be known for good things. That's not. <laughs> you want coverage, but you don't want it. There. If I ain't winning this race, believe me, it's, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I'm behind, oh yeah. It's going to be, I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to get gnarly. And this is why we race. <laughs> the twinkle in the eye, that's well, why we race. Well, I guess that means I better put a little more effort in qualifying so you know we're <laughs> No, no, me. I got his back, just so you know. <laughs> oh. I got his back. If he's out there and there's another guy trying to get around, I'm going to do everything I can for you, buddy. Keep them oh, out. There you wow, go. Wow. There you go. Everything. That's my phone. Yeah, that's your bank calling. Yeah, is that yeah, the money you offered to pay yeah. him isn't uh, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn that ringer off. <laughs> So if you win overall this time, or if you just finish the race with all the fenders well, on. Well, I am going to finish the race. Okay. The race is set, are you sure? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish the race. You know, the first overall winner I ever spoke with might have something else to say, but that was, that was a long time ago. Right. We were very much younger then. <laughs> the race is Saturday the 16th, Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, the celebrity race, 40th year doing it. You guys get to wrap it up and racing Finally with year. other winners, other champions, that yeah. is so cool. It's very cool. It's going to be a great time and it's great to, to be able to, you know, race with your friends and uh, people you've known for a long time, and we're gonna have a great time together. And, and at the end of the day, it is for a wonderful charity, Racing for Kids. And uh, at, the end, at the end of it all, no matter who you know, finishes on you know, the, top, the top step of the podium, um, it, this is, we're all winners because we've all done such amazing work for those kids through the years. And uh, it's gonna be just simply an honor to be in this race. That's a fact, that's yeah. a fact. Thank you both for coming in here, Thank and you're you. welcome back you. anytime. Appreciate it, have a good day. Hey, I know that you, yes you, haven't been in the Uncle Joe's garage yet, but I got some good news. We have created a mobile version of the Uncle Joe's garage, thanks to our friends at Mike Thompson RV Superstores. Like they say, don't miss a moment, and don't miss the mobile Uncle Joe's garage coming to location near you.